Welcome to the Clear Dental Schedule module. Now, everything in this demo is using a fake practice with fake patients, but it should work more or less the same way as a real practice. Um, so in the top here is the refresh, the one week before, one day before, today, the next day, next week, six months from now, a zoom in and zoom out and a search. So we'll go over all of these features. Now you'll notice that there are different columns here, A, B, C, and so on. These are for the different chairs. And then on the left side, you will see the time. So one o'clock, A, the patient would be in here. This yellow line is the current time. So it is a little bit before three o'clock PM on August 16th. And you can see this little gray area here. The practice is closed here. And if I scroll to the top, you can see the gray area. The practice is closed here as well. So we're saying that the practice is open from 9 o'clock AM to 5 o'clock PM. This is more for the person in the front desk to know when we're open and closed so they don't mistakenly schedule a patient when we are closed. So. Let's go to tomorrow in which I have a bunch of fake patients. So you see a few patients here. Now in each button, there are a few elements. First is the picture of the patient, the name of the patient in bold, what we're doing for the patient, a comment, and their confirmation status. So if we were to actually tap on one of these, you can see once again, their name, date of birth, their current age. Yes, this is all fake. If they had a cell phone associated with them, you have a dedicated copy button so you can uh, paste it somewhere else and you can even change the comment to random here stuff and it would work exactly as you would expect. Um, you can also change the chair you can change the date, the start time, how long the patient is in, and their status. So unconfirmed means that they haven't been contacted in any way and they have not confirmed in any way. Left message means that either the automated system has sent a message or you personally have left a message on their voicemail. Confirmed means that yes, they did respond back and they confirmed either through the automated system or it could be via a phone call. Wants to reschedule. So this will flag up whenever the patient um, asks to be rescheduled through the automated system. Will be late is a dedicated one where the patient says, oh, I am going to be late today. So. This is not for situations where the patient's already late and they did not respond. Um, this is more where the patient specifically called in to the office or sent a text to the office and says, hey, I am running late. That way when the doctor is in a different room treating a patient, they're wondering where their next patient is. They know that the patient actually responded back saying that they will be late and therefore the likely um, of the patient being a no-show is fairly low. Here means they're actually in the waiting room. Seated means they're seated in the actual chair. Checking out means that they have left the chair and they're with the front desk for checking out to schedule their next appointment. Left means they're gone from the office and no-show means they never showed up. So you can change it to let's say left and then you say save and close. Now it shows to this kind of grayish background. This is to indicate that the patient is gone. It does this also if you did a no-show. So similar gray background. That way you know not to <laughs> pay attention to this patient as far as scheduling for the day. So we can put them back to, let's say, confirmed and it shows up over here. On the bottom left here is the type of insurance. If this is completely blank, then it will be cash. 
But if, for example, I change the billing to be something like um, Delta Dental of Oregon, I'm just going to save this. And if I do a refresh, now it says Delta Dental of Oregon. Um, the color of this background is based on the provider. So in certain cases, it could be one doctor, it could be a different doctor. Each doctor has their own preference of what color that they are. And also each hygienist has their own preference. So that way, just by looking at the color, rather than just the chair, you know what um, appointment is assigned to which doctor. So that way, if you have, let's say, five, six chairs, and you only have two doctors, you don't mistakenly double book two doctors. I mean, you don't double book the same doctor into two different chairs. So um, one week before, well, puts you back to last week. Uh, one day before goes to one day before. Today will always go to today's date. It doesn't work when you're already in today's date. Next day works the way that you expect it. Next week, way you expect it. And then six months is something that's more dedicated towards uh, hygiene recare. Um, zoom out is useful for situations where you have a lot of patients and you need to figure out how busy your day is going to be. Or if you want to zoom in and you want to get a better idea of micromanaging each particular day. Uh, let's see. Search is really useful if I wanted to, say, um, put in a patient and I don't know where they are. So let's just say this Calvin Todd person. I don't see them and I'm like, oh, I know Calvin Todd is going to be in our practice at some point, but I don't know when. I can just type in T-O-D-D -D, and then I can see this Calvin Todd is going to be in our practice August 25th and August 17th. So you can jump to that date and now I can see, oh, there's Calvin Todd. Uh, when you click on the patient, it'll actually show um, all of their scheduled appointments. So when you see it blue, it means it's a future appointment. Um, when it's black, it means previous appointment. And if it's crossed out, it means that it was a no-show. That is particularly useful if you want to say, okay, how many times has this patient no-showed? So you can see the strike out here. So that says, okay, the patient hasn't shown up to this many appointments. Um, so the right side is just the different modules you can launch by default. So regardless of the appointment, you can edit the personal information, medical, all of these will have its own dedicated video. So we won't go over that right now. On the right side is the actual procedures that they're um, treatment planned for. Of course, this is all fake data, so none of this makes any sense. Um, but if you want to add or remove a procedure for a particular appointment, you do the Manage Procedures button. That will launch another um, dialog in which you can just drag and drop a procedure into the appointment. Now, so this is actually a flickable um, area. You have more appointments, I mean, sorry, more procedures for this appointment, and then you just go the opposite way to remove a procedure from the appointment. And then you can just see it and close, and then this will update accordingly. Um, now, let's say you want to add in an existing patient. Now, if it was a brand new patient, it is recommended that you use the new patient import uh, module, simply because it would automatically add in to the patient's treatment plan, the comprehensive or limited exam that they need um, without having to add in an empty appointment and doing it after the fact. But um, technically you can add the appointment um, directly in. So there's two ways to add a existing patient to the um, day. The first way is to do 
add appointment. So you're adding a new appointment. You can change the date. You set the time. So there's first of all a warning that the clinic is closed during this appointment. So one o'clock a.m. makes no sense. Eight o'clock also makes no sense because we're not open till nine. So nine o'clock, okay. There's no longer a warning. You can select what chair. And then for patient, um, you just have to type in the first three letters. And then it'll show the different people who have matched the letters that you typed in. So there's actually three different Todds. So let's go with uh, Horatio. And then you see two buttons here, add exam, added profi. So the add exam, what it does, it either adds in a comprehensive exam if they've never had a comprehensive exam before. But if they've had a comprehensive exam, it'll add a periodic exam. So this person now has a comprehensive exam. And also the add profi means if they don't have a profi in their treatment plan, then it will go ahead and add the profi. So I can say this is for comprehensive exam and profi. Um, when you see the procedures, this is everything already in their treatment plan. And then for provider, we have different providers. So whichever doctor is assigned for that, and then how long, and then whatever comment. And then I add the appointment. And now I can see Horatio Todd, all the information that we just entered in. I can click and then I can even delete the appointment, save and close. I can change the time to eight o'clock AM, but that will then put the patient to before we open up the practice, but the system will allow it. And then I can even do 12 o'clock AM, which actually is, right over here and let's actually fix that to let's just say three o'clock p.m so he would technically be seen right now um now i'm just going to delete him and that's about it now the other situation you could have is a patient that hasn't filled out the new patient form but called in and you want to put them into the schedule that way you don't mistakenly double book them for those you want to use a blocker so a blocker has two uses first is patients who haven't filled out the new patient form and you just want to add them in the other situation is um, any kind of comment like for example dr smith is going to um, be on vacation next week or um, we are not going to have this assistant on this particular day or we are just simply closed that day so it works very similar to an actual scheduled appointment except there's no patient associated officially so you can still select a time you can say the entire day or a very specific time so i'm just going to say for the full day for single chair chair a um under ah, something like that so i add a block out so now the entire a column is blocked out and by default you can't add at any other patients or any other procedures for the entire A column. And then you can delete it just like anything else. Um, the other type of situation is just for the patient. So let's just say specific time. You put this patient in for three o'clock PM, um, just for a single chair, chair, let's say C. And then you just put in the patient's name, Probably their contact information, you know, their phone number. And then probably what they're looking to get done, like extraction, something like that. So at least now there is something for that chair and that time 
so you don't mistakenly double book them. Now, it is still not recommended that you use blockers because two reasons. One is you don't have anything for the patient at that time. So when the patient comes in, you don't know what type of insurance that they have. You don't know for sure if they really want the extraction or if it's one of the many things that they want to get done or that tooth is not really bothering them. They don't have that interview done and you can't even do any kind of benefits analysis or anything like that before the patient comes in. You can't really prepare for anything. So it's really not recommended that you do it this particular way, but you can if you really want to. Um, and the proper way is that after the patient actually comes in and you have the blocker, you delete the blocker. And then you import that patient from the new patient form and then put them to that very same time slot that you originally allocated the patient. Um, so that way you have a real patient at that time slot. You can add a procedure. You can actually do their health history, insurance information, personal information, all of that. So that's for the most part everything related to the schedule. Um, more or less straightforward. It works perfectly fine in both the touchscreen and also keyboard and mouse. Um, you use it the exact same way. Um, for example, Saturday, everything is all grayed out. Why? Because in this fictitious practice, you're closed every Saturday and Sunday. Um, don't get too bogged up with the fact that some of these procedures don't make sense simply because this is all fake. Um, oh yes, so let's go back to today. So there is um, a couple things here. So view mode. Now, by default, when you're in the front desk, view mode is full. That means you see everything about every patient. This is different from when you're chair side. When you're chair side, there is a chance that the patient may see the actual schedule. So by default, it's going to be procedure only. So this is a more HIPAA compliant version of the exact same screen. But if you really wanted to, you can switch it back based on the situation. Display time is actually for this left corner over here. So right now it does every 30 minutes, but in some practices, they are micromanaging right down to every minute. So now you can see every little minute Oh, sorry, every 10 minutes. Patient roster. So this is the select patient. You can launch it as an app by itself, but this is just a quick uh, shortcut to it. Import new patients. Production report claims we'll have separate videos for that. So send out reminder text. What that does is that it goes through all the patients for that day, not for the whole week, but for that particular day. So if you push this button, what it's going to do is go through every unconfirmed or any sent message patient and send them a reminder text and ask them to respond back with yes or whatever is the equivalent in their language um, to confirm the appointment. So it sends it all at once to all of these patients. Um, the only time it will ignore them if the patient already confirmed. However, you can manually still ask the patient to confirm again. Um, so it wouldn't do it for any of these patients. So once it actually goes through all the patients, which only takes about a few seconds, um, all of them who are unconfirmed will magically show up as left message. Um, this would not work because none of these people have a real cell phone. Um, therefore, <laughs> there's no message to be sent. But you can also see from here it's gray here, and then it's more transparent over here. Why? Because we open at nine. Uh, but that is mostly it. Um, we will go over the personal information in the next video.